Thank you, Mayor. Uh, the City Health and Human Services and the Boston Public Health Commission continue to work daily to combat COVID-19 and address the needs of all of our neighbors. We remain focused on containing the spread of COVID by testing, tracing, and supporting those who test positive, and promoting protective measures like wearing a face covering and creating physical distance between you and others to keep people safe. And as we have been since the start of this pandemic, we are focused on those most disproportionately impacted by the disease and the inequities that have played out. It's at the core of our work. And a key part of that work has been about how we recover and how we ensure, to the mayor's point, that the data and science drives us. We're monitoring key indicators that are central to our ability to keep Bostonians healthy and safe in these times. From our new case numbers to our positive testing rate to hospitalizations, we're looking at trends and any signs of new COVID activity. We continue to see a solid 14-day decrease in cases and a seven-day decrease as well. While the decrease is flattening, we are seeing very low case numbers continue, which is a good sign. In the last 18 days, we've only had one day where we've had over 30 cases. Our work is paying off to prevent new infections. We've also had one of our lowest positive case rates last week at 1.9% positive for the entire week with a cumulative rate of 17.7% for COVID testing in general. While we have increased the numbers of people getting tested over the past few weeks, we continue to see a decline in the positive test rate. Again, a good sign of progress. And our hospital ICU capacity in Boston was at 78% of capacity yesterday, which is down from a high of 136% of capacity at its peak in April. This means that hospitals are ready and able to take care of those who have the most severe impact. We hope to get people out of the hospital and out of the ICU so we can, they can take care of others. All of these signs continue to show that we're containing the spread of COVID and keeping people safe and healthy through our shared efforts. But, and that's a big but, we need to continue working together to keep these rates down and keep our numbers of new infections and death down. And this continues to mean that we're looking not only at all of our continued efforts that we must focus on, but also on the inequitable impact that COVID has had in our black and brown communities. With African-American population representing 37% of all cases, while only representing about a quarter of the city population as a whole, and with Latinos still testing at the highest rate of any community at 30% of all folks getting tested, testing positive, we continue to be focused on creating greater access to testing, ensuring we have culturally competent messaging to reach our diverse communities, and to ensure that we're working to support those who are most impacted. This is why we've increased testing in key zip codes and ensure that we're investing in resources to connect people to care and support our community health centers as well. We must not lose focus on the inequities that exist and that have been central to our response from the very beginning. So as many other states and cities encountered increased cases and rates, we have to stay diligent and focus on what we need to do to collectively fight COVID. I remain concerned about its impact and urge us to stay cautious and vigilant as we continue to reopen. The City, Health and Human Services, and the Health Commission will not lose sight of, these of those most impacted as we continue down this path of recovery. Thank you, Mayor.